What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's and up? We have our another third person here today, and as you can see, it's none yes. other than Lewis Tan himself. What's up, Lewis? What What's is going up, on? Everybody? So, What's up? Uh, Lewis is here. Thank you very much, Lewis. Lewis is here to answer your questions. This is Badlands Community Q and A. Uh, you guys know how the how this goes. We're gonna ask Lewis some stuff. He's gonna answer some stuff. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good old chat. So uh, these questions, uh, some of them are from Mikey and I, some of them are from the community. Yep. So uh, we want to thank everybody from the Facebook group and on Twitter and, you know, Instagram, like everyone who, who you know, submitted these questions and stuff. We yes. couldn't use them all because we can't take up all of Lewis's time. But, you know, yeah. we, we try thank to ask him. Appreciate the support. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It, it's, 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 you know, and, and again, thank you so much for being here. So, so let's, let's just jump into it. Uh, yep. So first and foremost, what tell us what led you uh, to into the Badlands? How how did you end up uh, nabbing that role of Gaius Chow? Al Go and I uh, had a had a had a Twitter date. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's how it happened. No, uh, um, yeah, actually, Al Go, one of the showrunners, reached out to me on uh, on Twitter. And I think that uh, Latoya Morgan brought up my name in the in the writers room after watching uh, Iron Fist. Nice. Oh. And uh, um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of showcase my skills and uh, work with the best team in the business: Master Didi, Andy Chang, Hell Daniel, yeah. Stephen Fung. Uh, those guys are legends. And um, as an actor who who is also a martial artist, it would it's a dream to be a part of a, a show like this. So. Yeah, after talking to Al, um, he said he has a cool character in mind, and uh, and uh, we had a nice long conversation about it and where that character was going, and uh, and uh, that and it all fell into place, man. Nice. And um, awesome. I, I had been training with a katana with uh, my coach Caitlin Deschel, who's a uh, yeah. for Wonder Woman. I think people have seen her videos on my Instagram and stuff. Yep. And uh, I've been training with her for years before that. And so it's just it's a it's a cool thing when those those timings align and um and uh and it it just worked out perfectly. So thankfully I got to be a part of this uh revolutionary show, you know. Absolutely. When um when when we saw going into season 3, when I saw that you were cast for this character Gaius, you know, I I you know, I I remembered from Iron Fist and I, and and you know, bar none, that fight was one of the best fights that they had on that show. Thanks. So mm -hmm. It was it was absolutely like you you raised the dude that drunken style was sick and it was just like it was so fun to see that you know. Thank you, brother, I appreciate it. Absolutely. So I saw when I saw you coming on, I'm like, oh, I know where where's he from? I'm like, oh shit, that's right, it's Iron Fist. So I was so happy to see that you were coming on and and to see who you were gonna play, you know. Exactly. Um, exactly. So you know, so on those lines, so it, you know, in so the first half of the season, we see that Gaius. Um, you know, he, he had to be bold and he had to be daring and he was a big risk taker. Right. Uh, so, you know, you know, people want to know, um, you know, what what do you think shaped Gaius that way? What do you like? So coming into the show as that character, we see him in the prison. You know, what do you what do you think, in your opinion, that shaped him to be like that? Years and years of 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 not being able to to uh express himself and years and years of uh marinating on this bitterness and 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 fueling this passion for him to uh to to show the world and uh what what he really believes in you know what i mean and um, yeah. because he was locked up for so long as you see, when you meet him, he's training. He's still he's meditating. He's right. he's doing a kata. He hasn't lost sight of who he is. So, yeah. so so therefore he's in a prison, just planning and preparing. And um, I think that that as soon as he got out, it was over. Like I mean, he almost manifested that that release. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And um, as soon as he got out, he went straight back to to the widow. He went straight back to to. Uh, to start his um his his mission and to uh complete his destiny in a way you know what i mean that's how i yeah. look at it as, yeah. as an actor yeah. and um it's actually a really interesting way to uh start a character oh hell yeah 
and where he ends up is in such a different place that it's a really beautiful character arc. So hats off to all the writers because you don't always get that. Sometimes you get a, a cool character, but he kind of stays the same for for the the for ten episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then that's that's not what I like to play as an actor. So so to have Gaius start in the grittiest, dirtiest prison cell and end up where he's going to end up, uh, it was a it was a really it was a pleasure to to to, to play. Absolutely. That's and that's I think that says a lot about the character that you, when you first meet him, like you said, he's in this squalid place, but he's still practicing. He's still keeping himself yeah, preparing and tone yes. in shape. His mind is yeah. sharp. Like that's yeah. a, that's a, that the way they, they wrote Gaius onto the show is a, is again, just a Testament. Like you said, a Testament to yeah. where they were, what they were doing with the show, you know? Yeah, yeah. There were books in that jail cell too, you know, the art of mm -hmm. war, there was there was books there like he's he's not just sitting in that cell rotting like his sister thinks you know right. what I mean his mind is clear he's focused and as soon as he got out he was ready to to go on a mission so yeah um, I think that it yeah it was a really cool way to start to start off his storyline it was yeah, yeah absolutely sick which which is interesting because uh uh it leads right actually to the talking about his character arc right it leads right to the next question yeah arc. yeah definitely um. I mean, seeing the flashbacks for one were, was was awesome, and just just how different you are from um, your sister, Ju you know, Juliet is is intriguing. So hopefully, we get more of the backstory stuff. But um, a lot of people were asking why did Gaius let Tilda kill um, Ophelia Chow and and not yourself? That's a good question. I mean, that scene um, we shot that scene, and then there was an issue with the. Uh, an issue with the way we shot it, an issue with the lighting. It wasn't coming together in the cut the way that they were that they wanted. So we had to okay. reshoot that scene. Oh. Um, and we shot we reshot it in a different location. And the reason why I'm saying that is because that is one of the that is one of the hardest scenes that I had to play with with that character because I mean that's the monster of his nightmares. That's the reason yeah. why he is the way he is. And at the same time, it's his mother. You know what I mean? At the same time, there's that forever bond that you have with your mother, no matter how, you know, no matter how much wrong she's done to you. Yeah. This is the person that gave you life. And, and there's always going to be that connection there and that vulnerability there. And uh, I was an emotional wreck with that, that time. And after we were done filming, I was like, oh, thank goodness it's over. And yeah. then sure enough, we had to reshoot it. Oh, no. And, uh, I had to go back there um, into that place. And uh, yeah, to answer your question, and, and I talked to, with Alan Miles about this because there was a lot of back and forth about it. And, and uh, I didn't want Gaius to look like he came all this way and was just too weak to do it. And that's, and that's not what it was. Because he even has this line, if you guys remember, when he, when he's in the prison cell with Minerva, when she first sees him again, and he's like, do you think I'm too weak to kill? He's like, do you know how you got out of that cage years ago yeah. when you were in that cage? He's like, and, and, and she goes, if you were there, there, there was something there. And he's like, yeah, there was a knife. It says no yeah. mercy was given to me by my father. And, and, and that's, that's the mentality that he has. And it didn't change when he met his mother. The reason why he didn't kill his mother and gave Tilda the, the death nod, if you will, to, to kill her is because if he kills her, that she has trained him and, and, and made him into what she she want, you know, yeah. yeah, what she wanted. Yeah. And she's created that monster in him and he wasn't gonna give her that satisfaction. Right. So now she's being killed by what she thought was just a cog. You know, who, she doesn't know Tilda. You know, she's like, who is yeah. this person? Get out of my sight. Yeah. And this person is the one that, that ended up taking her life and ending her legacy. So that's even, it's even more bitter to let her do it and just walk away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's kind of how I looked at it. At the same time, there's subconscious decisions that, that, are, that come into play with, you know, you don't have to take your own mother's life. And there's part of that too. So um, it keeps Gaius pure in a way. It, yep. Yep. I, I, was I agree. Um, I mean that, you know, that was, I mean, so far, you know, you, you, you know, before we started, you know, recording and everything tonight, you, you know, you asked Mike and I, how we like in this season and you know, that, 
every scene that that it that comes up is just like it, it, better than the last almost it's just like every t like you're like okay here we go and and that whole thing i'm glad that you guys yeah. ended up with where you were and how it went down because it was fantastic i think it worked fantastic you know and and he played out really nicely and I, I i really do like that scene and how it ends and uh and uh that is a uh, the the end of a chapter in a long book of gaius and the chow family so yeah uh, it was a beautiful scene and very well played out and uh, had a lot of support by everybody on that day. So it was cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Staying on that, Mikey, why don't you uh, – we have a question about his half-brother. Mikey, why don't you yeah, we go can... into there since we're on the subject? All right. So we got this um, – it's it's a, a multi, multi-part multi question. But uh, so so Dagan, it's, is it, it's Dagan, right, or Deegan? Dagan, um, yeah. Is you guys' half-brother. Are we going to find out more about, about that? How many children are in the Chow family, and what happened to Horatio Chow? Yeah, um, I mean, I made my own kind of backstory uh, in order to play the character, but I don't. We're not going to really go too much more into that. But from what I understand, and I think that this is canon, is uh, that Horatio had an affair with a uh, slave. Right. That is Dagon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there were versions of that script that got more in detail about what actually happened, but it ended up not being used. Right. But there were, but yeah, and those versions talked about Horatio having affairs and having a bunch of children that are just, you know, a bunch of children with random slaves. Yeah. Um, so we I just guess, assume you know, we could just yeah, assume he was abusing slaves and he was using them for his will, and and he was having kids, and 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 uh, yeah, there was only two legit children from him, and that's me. <laughs> and my sister and right and Juliet. So that's well that's that's interesting that that Dagan is still there then with you know your your Julia mother Gaius's yeah. mother there um especially if that's the scenario that that uh that right. we think and that I, her, know, you know? I know what he's going through and I, I and he's just yeah the, it's a symbolism for for the innocence that's been taken from him that was taken from Gaius you know yeah. so that's why he says you're free and and I'm free too you know he says like, yeah that's great. That's that's and 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 I love again the re one of the reasons why is uh, right before they enter the room where Ophelia is he sees Dagon and he's just like and it just shows him a love it, you know so there's a again there's a story there and we see that like he so he's grown up with Dagon so they know each other it's not just some some you know half brother or sister that you don't know you you see the love so we so we get to see that side of guys like he's he's a killer He's a stone cold killer, but he's able to to you know obviously he he loves Minerva and he will kill for her. But he also you never lost your humanity and and then like you said you round out that whole scene and the whole story by saying we're both free now and it was like I was I was satisfied more than satisfied I was it was it was amazing it was so good yeah, yeah. ciao, ciao and, better I watch her back now you know yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, well it's, tomorrow night it's going down ah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah jeez man. Like we said before, it's bittersweet. It, it sucks that way, but it's also great, uh, regardless, to see you and 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 Allie and you know Tilda uh, together, uh, working together. And hopefully, we're going to be seeing more yeah. of you guys. Obviously, they just stepped up these episodes one after the other. Oh my god! Crazier and crazier until the finale, which is my favorite fight of the entire season. So, oh. I mean, it's uh, it's really, really well done, and really, I'm really impressed, actually. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's move. Let's move to something else. Um, so we got another question here. Okay, so the most common uh, close combat weapon that are used in like movies and TVs are swords, right? So, um, as a, and, and like you said, you've been studying for years. So as a martial artist, um, are there any other weapons that you've never used before that you would have liked to try out for Into the Badlands or, or in any of the martial arts shows or movies you've done? So besides the sword. I mean, I'm pretty nasty with a nunchuck. I could swing a nunchuck. Sweet. Pretty damn oh, well. nice. So that would be fun. I know that Baji got to swing that octopus nunchuck. Yeah. See, and and I was going to mention cool. that in the trivia, too. In the trivia question, yeah. It to, was like, like, kind of steer you seed. towards yeah. the fish end yeah, of it. Yeah, I would have that one. <laughs> I know. That account. Yeah, okay. right? that account. Um, We're going to re retcon so, that. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, no, a nunchuck would be cool. Um, How about ones you haven't used? It. Is there any weapons that you haven't trained with that you would have liked to have messed with? 
there's a weapon that uh, I haven't used yet called the it's a called the karambit. Okay. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's uh, a it's a it's a knife. It's a curved knife with a almost like a ring that goes around your your finger. And so you can you can spin it and move it and maneuver it. Um, oh, it's like okay. a dagger, but it's connected to your finger and it has a hole and you could you put your finger in the hole and you could spin it. So if you I, I don't know if you've seen the raid. Yeah. But uh, yes. yeah. So the Iko Ues, uh, the actor that I'm working with on on Netflix, Wu Assassins, yeah. uh, is a master of Silat and Kerlambit. And so he he introduced me to that weapon. It's a sick weapon. Uh, um, I would, it's very, very uh, violent and really cool looking. So, yeah, I look forward to using that one day. Nice. OK, mm -hmm. that's that's awesome. Good it's start. crazy. We haven't really seen any kind of like those generic like. I'd hate to say it like the Ninja Turtle weapons. Like we, I don't think we've seen size or we haven't seen anybody the using Ninja Turtle or... weapons coming up tomorrow night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Good. So it's it's Good. something Wait till that you see yeah. What uh, what Juliet uses? Did you see okay. the teaser for it? Yeah, yeah. So you saw the swords that she has with yep. the uh, with the curves. They're like they're like wushu yep. swords. Yeah, Chris is Chris is usually like the the guy that watches like the teaser stuff, and I always tend to. Yeah, I gotta watch it because from... I gotta see. I gotta see. Yeah, you know? one of us has got to know. Same with you. I don't watch trailers, so but but I yeah. know that yeah, Juliet has a really cool weapon uh, oh, that cool. she fight with. Cool. All right. You know what? So listen, since since talking, we're on that you know subject of props and things like that. Let's go to the let's go to the. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Giovanni uh, Lipari's amazing costume design, uh, Gaius's red suit. Now, if you saw, you, you said you saw the Everybody's video. talking about the red suit. Dude, by the way. I'm sorry, but you throw, you throw uh, a beautiful jacket over a freaking kimono, I mean, and, and put it on Louis Tan. It's <laughs> like, are you kidding me? That That is one of the best costumes that, yeah. that has been on the show. I mean, so, uh, the, so the question is, you know, the question <laughs> is, um, are you able to keep that suit or any other of the costume as 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 yeah. like mementos or anything? Mementos. Well, how about yeah. Giovanni is such a genius. That man deserves an award. Hell yeah! And and, the, yep. and you know, like you can't see very. Some sometimes you get some close up shots and you can see the detail in it, but the detail in his clothing is insane. It's yeah. like. It's just so beautifully well done. I mean, I can't, I yeah. can't, there's no, no stitch that's not purposely done. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Uh, all the way down to the buttons to the inside of it. I mean, it's just, it's stunning. Yeah, I love that red coat. And uh, it's unfortunate that I only got to wear that for one episode because I love that thing. Yeah. Um, I did, I did, <laughs> I did take home that red kimono piece, like the underpiece. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I took home a couple things. I took home a couple things. I had to take it for momentum's sake. Oh, you so. have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Giovanni yeah. was really nice about it, and um, I got a couple things to take home, but I didn't get the Good. big long coat. But also, you know, it's a long, it's a, it's a big coat to take all the way from from Ireland to yeah. LA. So yeah, I had a lot of stuff with me. But um, but uh, yeah, Giovanni is just. I mean, phenomenal for every character. He made something new and, and vibrant and just so creative. Yeah, it was really, really incredible. And it but shows. Not, I, got a, I got a couple yeah. Giovanni uh, originals in my closet. Nice. So there you go. Not yeah. for sale. <laughs> not for sale. No, you got to put it, those it's, in glass. It's, it's really unbelievable about, I mean, and, and on the interview that Chris and I just did with Sherman and Daniel, uh, they talk about how there was like this room full of uh, 50, oh, the 50 or so right? in like the pool, Italian like the women half a just pool or sitting something. there. And, yeah, it's just unreal how much work goes into it. I mean, and, and speaking with Latoya about about what goes into the show and what's invested into the show with the yeah. fight team and and just the, the, the you know, the set design and, and just what Giovanni it's does. Big. It's, it's too it's, big yeah. for AMC. That's the problem. It's too big. Yeah, it's too it's big. So big. He he would be like, "So how's it feel? You know, do you think you can move around in it?" I'm like, "Giovanni, I don't care if I can move around in this. <laughs> I am wearing this. Yeah. This thing looks sick. I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Yeah. I'll figure it out." <laughs> yeah, that that stuff was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was and just even the way they shot a lot of those scenes, and I said this already. Yeah. Um, before it just enhanced a lot of the coloring too. Yeah. Um, even and bless even... the hearts of all the costume ladies that helped yeah. me put my yeah. boots on every day because those, they had like fifty straps on those things, and it, it yeah. was a it was a it was a process every morning. 
Oh my yeah. God, I can't imagine. But that's, well, it shows. It, it shows. But it, yeah, that and again, that's the beauty of it is that as a viewer, I I feel like you know you said there's a lot of detail in it, and and even though we can't see some of the stuff that you guys are seeing, you know, behind the scenes, but it 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 comes out on screen. We can see the care taken into that, and definitely, and and especially in the way you all move in it, and it's just it's you know again we we've, we've said this a, a billion times at this point, but the show is is literally like nothing that's ever been on from every yep. single point and it's and it's every single point comes together to create yeah. what we're seeing and it's beautiful and it's and it's cohesive and a lot of and love went into it. a lot of love oh you Absolutely. can yeah i mean you can tell and we said this several times before also in a lot of our uh reviews about the show is just that Besides just the kick-ass fighting and the choreography that goes with the the fight scenes, just the story was always you know spot on and um, super super depressed that the show was ending. But you know we can't wait for the for the next uh, what four or five. Damn episodes. it, man! I'm thinking. You know what, man? Lewis, let me ask you this: Would you would you want to <laughs> write some fan fiction with me and Mike? I mean, come on, we got to keep this thing going, man. We'll get Latoya to write the comic. Come on, movie. You know? Let's do a mo- listen, yeah. man. I used to draw comics. I'll get in it again. I don't care. I'll do it myself. <laughs> we'll get you in it. Let's just do an anime. Let's do some movies. Let's get you in a in, in a graphic novel. Let's just, damn, man. I'm down. I'm down for it. Let's do it. Oh man. All right. So um, <laughs> let's wind it a little bit down here. Yeah. Okay. So we got another question for you, but let's jump out of the Badlands a little bit. Um, on our way out of the Badlands, uh, there was a candid picture of you, Sherman, and Allie playing some, playing with you know some cards in, in a trailer. Uh, you guys, I guess, were hanging out, right? Uh, which one of you has the best poker face, and which of you is the best card player? Um, Allie's pretty tricky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sherman's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Sherman, seemed, I can read. He I seems can read like a mile away. he seems Allie, like no offense, Sherman, but you seem because you're so because he's just so. He's so he's so personable. He's so warm. I just feel he's, like he just can't. Yeah, he's he's very charismatic and animated. So he's a dead giveaway. Um, I mean, when he's not, he should just you know he should pretend. I he should act. When he should he's act playing. when he's playing, right? <laughs> yeah. Allie's got this crazy stare that she can uh, just look right through. Stares you, right you through you. Okay. With her like big beautiful eyes, and she just you can't read her. So yeah, I think probably Allie. I mean, Allie's okay. got a. Ali's pretty good, and Aramis very is good cool. too. Aramis, Aramis is uh, is is very good, and <laughs> it's both of those two. They're sneaky. <laughs> they're sneaky. That's good. It works for their characters too. And yeah, they're a little you know who's good game. at poker though is Stephen Fung. Oh, is he? Really? Okay. Stephen Fung is good. So yeah, I'll, I'll go with Stephen and and Ali. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Very, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. No, that's great to see everybody together, obviously. I mean, sometimes you can't help work with, you know, with who you work with, but it's, from everybody that we ever interview, everybody just says it's such a family and, and you yeah. guys are all very close, close knit. I remember on the premiere, you were, you were streaming live and, and I think Ali was there and, and, um, Aramis yeah, we was there. We talked about for a little bit to say what's up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's great to it's 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 great to see that it's not BS when you hear about oh yeah everybody always hangs out together we we it's there's proof there yeah um, you know that yeah that no, you guys definitely. are so close we battled the uh, the harshest winter in Ireland so yeah yeah, yeah. We, but you uh, had those warm clothes though we kind of went to war <laughs> together in a way so yeah. All right. nice nice awesome awesome all right so we um. We're talking about Badlands still. Before we get into some other stuff that Chris is going to mention about some of the stuff that you're doing, um, I'm sure you hear from social media, uh, maybe maybe even from us, about the the campaigning and the save the hashtag save the Badlands stuff. And we've speaking with Daniel. He he just like you said earlier, we we need some nominations for some of the some some of the great stuff that you guys are putting out. If it's the set design, if it's the clothing, the act, the the, the fight scenes. So we have a lot of the hashtag Save the Badlands, hashtag Emmy for Badlands. Just what do you think about that? Because the the, the loyal fans, there's just, there's just nothing that I've ever witnessed myself. Just people loving the show and loving you guys so much. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, I my opinion about it is like this. You know, mm. the most important thing to me that makes the difference is the love from the community and the love from the fans and, and uh, the respect, even in the business, uh, yeah. you know, of uh, not just fans, but people that are in the business highly respect the show. And it's, it's uh, 
it has a lot of respect. So that makes me happy as an actor. Just working on something that I'm proud of makes me happy. Uh, now, having said that, secondary awards, awards are, are it's a politic game, you know? I mean, it's not right. all, the best thing doesn't always get the award. Let, let's just say that. True. Right? So, yeah. True. So, yeah, like, do I think that they deserve it for the set design and costume design and obviously the action work? Absolutely. And they work so hard that I would love to see that the action team get the Emmy. And, uh, you know, there's a couple other areas where, I think Into the Badlands could be a, a real contender for Emmys in different categories too. So yeah, yeah it's nice to see the support and um, we're going to give it a shot. So hopefully, hopefully with the second half of the season, we can, uh, you know, generate some attention with the Emmys. Mm -hmm. And if they get an Emmy, yeah, then it's, it's, it'll definitely, who, be who knows? Case. It'll be a much, yeah, exactly. It'll be a much who stronger knows? case for a different network to pick it up. Um, or to do a spinoff or, or other options. But uh, but like you said, a lot goes into the show. And, yeah. and the action team, it's not a regular action team. I mean, this is, you know, they're from Hong Kong. And, legit, and they're, yeah. they're yeah. the best of the best out there. So yeah. it's rare to get that type of team yeah. and that type of quality. So so let's see what happens. But, um, you know, I, I'm just grateful and, and honored to be a part of it and to see all the, the outpouring of support and love. So... Keep the hashtags going because it definitely yeah. helps. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. All right. So we, we definitely will. Uh, so let's jump over to we've been watching Lewis Tan Fight Camp. Yes. Yeah, over nice. on your Instagram. Uh, tell us a little bit. That. So only two episodes so far have been out, right? I know you probably got a bunch in the bag, right? I got a couple more coming. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I for one, I'm loving those. I'm loving and, nice. and it's so, you, you know, you had put out, oh, you know, this is coming. We're going to be doing this. I'll be doing this. And I'm like, oh, damn, boy, wait, it's going to be on Instagram. Oh, how's he going to do that? And, dude, I, I like it, man. I like how you how, how it works. It's nice. It's like it's a different way to do it, you know? Yeah. I think um, they might throw it up on the AMC YouTube. Uh, but, uh, oh, okay. But, yeah, either way, I think Instagram is it's such a wonderful tool for, 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 for promoting and everybody – it kind of – spreads a lot faster nowadays and i, yeah. I think um you know it's just nice to kind of to kind of give a lot of content on that platform right so on instagram and twitter uh so yeah it's cool and you know what's really important to me is just sharing the love of martial arts and and uh you know getting getting to you know show some some special guests that many people haven't seen yeah. um i'm bringing in a couple a couple special people from into the badlands uh, oh, in, in the coming episodes so that'll be cool and uh, it's just fun to talk about martial arts. So I'm glad that they let me do that. And uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy the next few episodes because there's some special stuff coming. Oh yeah, we we absolutely okay. can't wait. It's it's really cool. What made it's you a lot start? Of fun. What 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 gave you the the like the idea to do that? What what was the uh, you know? AMC man? A AMC reached out to me and uh, the promotional team reached out to me oh. and and, uh, and brought up the idea and asked if I'd be interested and I was like yeah of course that sounds that sounds awesome so oh, we cool. worked out the logistics and and uh, made it happen so oh, yeah sweet. Was, uh, AMC reached out and it was their idea oh see that's oh, that's great. that's actually kind of that's comforting that's actually very comforting to, to me. To know that. Well, yeah, I mean, they love the show, you know. I, I don't think they want to cancel it. I just, you know, I, I don't know all the logistics behind yeah. it, but I, I know that they speak very highly of it. And, you know, I, I wish the the promotion was was uh, a little more intense uh, previously because now the promotion is quite, quite good. Oh, but yeah. I, I yeah, dude, that was like, dude, my. <laughs> there was a lull there for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. I kind of promoted uh you know uh previously a little better but um you know it is what it is and then uh and uh we're grateful and happy for the support and and amc loves the show so so that's where we're at yeah all right all right i was yeah i was gonna say because these spots have been you know my wife was was you know so i showed her a couple of the spots for this second half and she's like where the hell was that these past two years and i'm like i know babe i know i know <laughs> yeah brother i mean now now they're killer i mean now they're, they're killer. Yeah. yeah that's but that's but that's the because we were like to me like that's the show that's what you should be doing show the show like that like that gets that's that's like the freaking suicide squad trailer that had us all fooled you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah, no, that, that, that that to me the Suicide Squad 
trailer, you know, side note, that was one of the coolest trails. I think that made yeah. everybody want to see that. You know, that and the yeah, Fallout they're doing, 4 they're commercials. They're doing a great job with it now, so. Yeah. Um, hey, you know what? Yeah, like you said, if if now's the time that people jump on and the and, and it still builds, then, then I feel like that's more f- fuel to push it to another yeah. medium or whatever comes next. I think I think it could help. So, hey. I is, agree. Look, it is what it is, right? Big help too, because I've I've been seeing that now that season three is dropped on Netflix, a lot of people have been uh, have been yeah. writing me and saying, "Oh, now we're caught up." Right. So it's it's, it's just strange how yeah. the landscape of how people watch stuff is changing now. So you know, it's one of those things where you know, even some of my friends who know me and support me, they're like, "Oh, yeah, we we, we just finished the rest of the season because it was on Netflix." I'm like, "You just now watched it, like, <laughs> right?" <laughs> You know, but that's that's how it is now. I, don't, I guess, yeah. 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 Um, all right, cool. So, yeah, look, definitely looking forward to the rest of Fight Camp. Um, tell us a little bit about Shatterstar. Yeah. How'd that, how'd that <laughs> happen, and, and how come we didn't see enough of you? Because we were psyched. We were like, oh, he's going to be Deadpool 2. And then it's like, what? Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, they, uh, you know, I mean, it's Deadpool. So Deadpool... Uh, you never know what 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 they're gonna do. You know those yeah. writers, Red and Paul, they're amazing and they're uh, they're geniuses. But um, at the same time, yeah, you never know. You might <laughs> you might meet an untimely death. So Ugh. I mean, it was one of those things that I've never seen anybody advertise like that and then and then you know have <laughs> almost tricked the audience in a way. Yeah. Uh, um, I will say that I just did WonderCon and I did a, an autograph signing at WonderCon just yeah. very quickly, uh, you know, um, just to say hi to the fans and did it for free. And and there was a line wrapped around the wrapped around where I was you yeah. know, for, for Into the Badlands and for Shatterstar. So it's kind of cool that people are supportive of it. And um, I get a lot of people saying that that was one of their favorite scenes of the film, you know. Yeah. So. So so that's awesome, and it was cool to play. You know what I mean. And Terry Crews is a good friend of my family, so it was oh, cool. oh really? Yeah, it was cool to see Terry and work with Terry and uh, and David Leach. So I mean, these are these guys are like real deal. David Leach and Chad Stahowski are like amazing martial artists, genius directors, and it's great to see them blowing up and doing so well. So yeah, it was cool. It was a really good environment. Ryan Reynolds was super nice and very humble and. Uh, it was a great environment. Some you, you, you don't always have that. Very yeah. rarely, uh, especially on a huge budget film, um, you know, like Deadpool, um, and yeah. uh, not just budget, but status wise, it's a it's a big project. People love Deadpool. The, there's Marvel fans, and then there's like Deadpool Marvel fans, and yeah. they're different. Yeah. It's like a different breed. So um, it was great to be a part of it, and uh, hopefully we'll see more. I'm not saying that we uh, it's confirmed, but hopefully we'll see more. And you're oh. an action figure, bro. How's that feel? I got a freaking, yeah. uh, I got a Lego. <laughs> oh wow! I got an action figure and a Lego, and and uh, you know people send me artwork every week, so it's it's really cool, man. I'm I'm just happy to be a part of it. I love Marvel, so I'm a I'm a fanboy myself. So yeah. I'm happy to be a part of it. And I had the Shatterstar figure when I was a kid. I used to play with that toy. So oh now wow, I have man! My own Dope. version of it. Nice. In my house, I have the like my version of it, and then I have the old one, and it's like it's so crazy to see that's that. Awesome. So, yeah, that's awesome. That's so cool, that, man. That's, that's I'm so I'm so happy that you that you got to do that. That's so dope, man. Yeah, shout out to Rob, the creator of, of Deadpool and Shatterstar. He's he's an amazing person too. Awesome, Very awesome. Nice. So then, so that let me. All right, so uh, real quick, Avengers Endgame. If people are watching this before it came out, wh- uh, tell me your psych, man. Oh yeah, of course. Well, see, the thing is, like you were saying, I don't watch trailers, mm-hmm. and I don't like – I'm going to stay off Twitter and Instagram for a while until I get to see the film because I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah. you know, until I get to watch it, I don't want to see any spoilers or anything. So I'm just going to, like, ignore – Everything. Ignore, ignore, oh, it's going to be hard, right? Damn. Yeah. Now, it, just, it came out already? It just no, came no, out? no. It's coming out. But, you know, okay. people have seen it, though. Like, people like, in the industry get to yeah. see it and stuff. Yeah. Because um, unlike Chris, I'm not, like, the – big superhero guy so i'm looking to see because i wanted to want you know i know the movies are great so i'm looking on all these youtube videos and stuff and on google what order like to watch 
these movies. Oh, so dude, I could have told you like, that, man. Yo, but dude, it's like 20 some odd movies it's that I'd lot. have to watch. They're, not for nothing. Don't, Mike. Watch, don't watch Endgame first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, so well it's off like, camera, Mikey, I'll give you, there's a, there's a, like a definitive list that people have made yeah. that you watch this one, this one, this one, and this one, and you'll stay. Regardless, you'll it's 20 some odd movies all together. Yeah, so. It's a lot it of might, movies. I heard they're doing like a, a full run in the theater too of all of them. Back, like back to oh, back. Really? Well, you know, AMC just ran them. AMC is running them. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. so I'm going to catch up a little bit. Yeah, so. So, so, yeah, definitely Marvel. And, hey, and so you got to play Shadowstar, and you got to and you got to be in Iron Fist, which is really dope, too, so. Yeah, you know, I mean, I feel like there's still some opportunity, a lot of opportunity left for me in Marvel because of that. You know, I didn't really get to, to dive into Shadowstar deep. Yeah. I mean, I would love to do a Shadowstar standalone film in, in Mojo World and make it like a Mad Max meets Gladiator type of thing. But, oh, my God. But, uh, you know sick. that would be really cool, but but if not, I there's some other opportunities uh, coming that are on the way that I think that uh, might be very very suitable for me. So, okay, cool. Well, um, we'll ask you about that in a second, but first, yeah. Mike, what do you <laughs> what do we want to find out? So we know. All right, so let's talk about Wu Assassins now. Uh, it's a Netflix. It's going to be a Netflix uh, series uh, this year, correct? Correct. Um, what can you tell us about uh, Wu Assassins in the show? Yeah, Wu Assassins is, uh, I believe it's, if not the first, one of the first Asian-American Netflix originals mm -hmm. uh, with, a, with a, you know, majority Asian-American cast. Uh, a lot of real martial artists also on that show. Like I mentioned, Iko Uwais from The Raid. Yep. Um, one of the most incredible Indonesian action stars, or just action stars in general, uh, Captain Winnick from Vikings. Yeah. And uh, we have a lot of uh, Stephen Fung directed the pilot. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, the action on that, it's not as fantastical as Into the Badlands in the sense that it doesn't have Hong Kong wire work okay. and that type of thing. It's more grounded, more gritty, uh, very violent. And it's kind of about it's – a, it's a modern story that takes place in Chinatown, San Francisco, and it tells a tale of – immigration of what is it to be asian american in the modern time mm -hmm. as well as fantasy elements and uh really insane martial arts sequences uh but but very very grounded in a, in a way that that uh that yeah i don't think we've seen very much of I, I, at least not to this capacity at least yeah. not done this well so uh yeah i'm very very excited about it um I play uh I play a I play kind of like a, a a lone wolf gangster type of character that uh runs a, a stolen car dealership. Okay. <laughs> and uh yeah, yeah, there's not much more I can say about that yet, but but there's a lot of um a lot of really incredible martial art martial artists that are also actors that are on the show. Cool. Um like Juju Chan is one of them. She's just a beast. She's there's videos of her like knocking people out on YouTube uh, in a, in Muay Thai wow. championships. She's yeah. like won gold medals. I mean, I was just incredible. looking at I was just looking at some of that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> incredible martial arts. Uh, but but it's more than that. It's 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 showcasing different styles, but it's really gritty. Like it's it's a it's love, a it's a really gritty. performance driven gritty drama. Nice. So uh, awesome. I'm very excited to show that because I think. We need more Asian American representation, and and uh, in, in, into the Badlands was a pioneer of that movement. So it's yes. opened up opportunities for like Wu Assassins. So uh, Wu Assassins on Netflix coming out this year, man. Nice, Very I cool. can't wait. And it's and you know, like you like you were saying, just to l jump onto that about the types of you know Asian American um, you know uh, film and shows and between the badlands with assassins and then there's a uh, another show warrior coming out right um you know i i i've always been a fan i mean jackie chan is is one of my idols and you know and daniel used to you know be on his team and like so when we met you know when i met daniel i was like oh my god i didn't even know that like it was just like so i've i've grown up with this you know this so for me it's like it's it's amazing it's amazing to kind of you know to see that um, I'm just and I'm loving it. So I'm so excited for Wu Assassins. I'm excited for anything else 
in that vein that's going to come out and you yeah. know hopefully you'll be involved with that stuff because you know you need to be man you know <laughs> yeah absolutely well you know my father worked with jackie as well and yep. my father trained you know with benny the jet like i grew up yep. in a martial arts family Hell my yeah. dad was a champion like if you saw in the fight camp yep. you know it's all connected i and uh it's just been a wild ride for me because i got to see my father come up in batman and indiana jones and uh you know tango and cash Hell and yeah. blood sport and all these films in rush wow. hour lethal weapon and then i got to see i got to work with daniel and all the you know and, and master Didi and andy chang on 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 badlands and then i got to work with eco on Wu mm-hmm. assassin like and these guys fortunately are so humble and nice that they've they they'll they'll teach you know what i mean like a lot of people yeah. would be maybe intimidated to to have another uh asian actor who's also a martial artist very uh, true yeah. learning you know and, and they're not yeah. like that. they're so giving and kind and and they've they've taught me i've learned so much from working consistently over the past few years with some of these great legends that um i feel very fortunate and my skill set just went you know what i mean like it, it just kept rising because yeah learn from them i got to see what they do every day on set and 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 train with them every day and uh so it's been it's been a uh, a tiring but very very rewarding few years for me very cool awesome, awesome. hey man listen awesome. you know uh, we're, we're we're so happy for you man we're so happy that, that you pre- that that you get to do these things and we get to see you in these things you know uh all right listen i think i think we've kept you long enough uh i mean we could sit here and we could pick your brain about all yeah. this stuff but you know what it just means we're gonna have to have you back on maybe when when Wu assassins hits maybe you can pop on and we of can course talk again and when, then... I, when Wu assassins comes on i'll get me and uh, some of the other cast members to to, to come through that would oh, be awesome dope that would be dope. <laughs> And then Very and then cool. and then we're gonna get you against Sherman on the trivia. And then yeah, you know. I think that's I think that's a definite. Yeah, way give me that. another shot. Yeah, a little yeah. redemption story. Get you on there. Right? Get you on there. Uh, all right, cool. I well, think awesome, I... man. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the support and you know no follow problem. me on uh, on Instagram and uh, on Twitter, Lewis Tan official and uh, at the Lewis Tan on Twitter. And, uh, did it for me yeah man it's really really i'm very very grateful thank you guys for having me awesome, awesome. no thank problem you. no problem thanks for everybody that wrote in the the questions for the trivia uh for the community q a of course with lewis we're just it's awesome for you to come on the show of course check us out at third person pod right in the comment section below let us know what you thought about the community q a with lewis tan that's right, and if you want to know where where those community members are, it's the Facebook group that will be yes. down in the in the description there. So yep. go join us, come and talk with us, and hang out with us. And a lot of the cast and crew are also in that in that group too, and they'll comment and they'll see. So they'll see you. They listen. Yeah. They see you. They see us. So don't worry about it. So, Lewis, thank you again. We wish you nothing but the best. Uh, you know, just uh, don't hurt yourself. You know, <laughs> yeah. be good. And because uh, we got to see more from you, man. Yeah. We got to see more from him. So happy that you're here. Thank you so much, brother. We'll see you Thank soon. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, man. All right. Wow. All right. Peace.